Welcome to Life by Design. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is our Love by Design series that we've been running through this month of love, of February, of Valentine, and everything. And it's coming to you by courtesy of our series sponsor, Goodies. When it's good, it's goodies. When it's good, it's goodies. Thank you very much, Goodies. And um, obviously, we still have a standard partners that have been behind us um, right through the Live by Design show, and that is AfriCell and AYV uh, Media Empire. Over this last couple of weeks, we've been looking at the series Love by Design. We've looked at why relationships fail and why relationships last a li lifetime. One of the things we zeroed in on was the fact that people don't realize that relationships have five goals in five stages, and people think it's just one stage and a romantic stage. They're not prepared for one thing that's the big trouble, that's the power struggle stage. And so what we said we want to be able to do today is to just give you a couple of steps you have to be able to take to walk out of this power struggle stage. Because there are two ways that couples deal with the power struggle stage. Number one, they break up. They take the nearest exit. The other couple, set of couples, they survive. I don't know how much percentage, but they survive. They take the long journey together. Surviving through pain and frustration <laughs> of the relationship. And some, even though they survive, they know they thrive. They only they be a normal now. The relationship is no longer growing, it's no longer thriving, they no longer enjoy this, their relationship. People who have chosen this option typically think that good relationships involve sacrifice and compromise, and the relationship end up for the flat line. And ultimately, um, when the relationship no get to joy, you know what thing that happen? Then they, they fade out, and ultimately, they can begin cheat inside the relationship. How do you overcome it? Four steps to overcome it. The alternative that people could take for overcome the past struggle state is to own your own part of the problem. You they graduate from the past struggle stage when you want, accept, and appreciate each other's differences. Learn to share power in the home and realize that you cannot get what you want by force. Realize as a couple, as you are, you have to work together in harmony and you get to surrender each other's life to each other and forget what we've seen life in Tanek before. This is one of the ways you learn to fight to make sure you move away from the past. We'll say, do you want for more details? 030600 and we get all the stuff for them for you on Facebook and YouTube. We can feed you to those, to those details. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll have all our couples, the veterans, the long rising together to answer your own questions. Stay with us, don't go away. Welcome back. As you can see, it's a Love by Design series. This is the final episode in this week's series, that Love by Design series that we've been running right through this Valentine month. We've already introduced you, um, you with couples, with veteran couple, Mr. and Mrs. Mohamed Alfa Soa. Thank you again, put your hands together for that. Thank you for being here with us. And we also have we young guys in couple, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Abubakar Kagbo. Abu and Aminata with their hands together. And um, thank you that we've been here. Now, I want to focus to you, um, Mami, Mami Soa. Um, a couple of stuff there where you think, say, these are big ticket things. You know, you, we've been sharing those stuff. Wait, the things that we parents and teach you. One pandemic, you say that you granny. Can you share? Can you share that with us? Yes. Okay. My granny been teach me, say, been tell me, say, married, not to for butu. Where you tire, you grab. It's say, not for Sidom. It's say, where you don't decide for married to this your husband. They say you they go you they go with bench for Sidon. They say na me you own this and they give you na bench. When you sit down, you say you know the tire. Eh, you no go easily, nobody no go easily overrun you, you no go for them. But if you boot too, sometimes somebody go can't jack you, you go for them. And you go tire, they say you go grab, and you know for grab. Married na for Sidon. We don't decide for married na forever. If even if you meet a bad man, if the man not they treat you well, would you, would you, would you? Well, if the man know they treat you well, you get for decide for bring somebody, people then way more experience for let the advice wuna. Because sometimes, not to for say the man self mean not for treat you fine. Because if person don't accept you as in partner, married na life partnership, a possible say na something make you know they treat you fine. But if you bring elderly people who who that way don't say. Now the marriage life, then go able advice from now too. So the man go change. Um, Pastor, um, how much of unautu that the behind self passing company? 
Una don't be in safe passing company. Una the beer una safe equal. Exactly. Nobody no passing company. No. You think so, Mami? So and the same thing you think? Not the same thing. Because you know actually do me anything way very grave for say I no go able to be here. Me self not really go to any extent where I don't hurt them in such a way no able to be here with me. Like we said, it's it's about the two people. Now we we'll take a break. When we come back, we're talking to the rising star couple. Let's take this break. Welcome back. This is our love by design series. Now, um, Mr. and Mrs. Kabo, Abaka, you, you've been with us right through the series, um, this three-part series in, in the Love by Design month. Now, what do you think um, you've learned even going through this process? What do you think have, have stood out for, for now both? I'll give you a chance to respond to the both. I'll start first with, with Ami. What, what do you think you've learned right through the series? Yeah. Mami Soa. Mami Soa said, patience mm -hmm. is one of the things. And I came from a family wherein my mama, my, my aunties, and everybody, where they go into marriage, it's for better and for worse. Mm -hmm. So coming from that type of a family, and me not married because of all these flashy weddings and stuff, I'm married because I love the person who I'm married to, and I'm going to marry because I want to see Dondi. I see you all and together. Yeah. How long will you keep holding? Hold on, hold on, back I love you. I love that. I love that. And you go and, and a bench you go with or na booty go with too? <laughs> a bench I go with. <laughs> na bench I go because where you don't live now, family where you don't see you don't you don't get morals from the people the way they look up to. You yes, self they yes, you self they go into something where you want be may you people let be proud of. Proud of. Yeah. Bakai, um, you know, it married not two, not two, not two people. Um, if you want to cause problem for this woman, they succeed. <laughs> what, what's going to stop you from doing that? Um, when, from the seas, one of the things I learn is that um, because we're exp we experiencing that now, mm -hmm. we're not this struggle. The struggle, the past, the past, the past, the past, the People we experience, Mr. and Mrs. So, they don't tell we. I get to understand the stages how for deal with them, mm -hmm. which I believe um, get a long way for playing our own lives as we they plan our life now for the future and then things that we if we want for each day. Now one of the things that we need for at least deal with. Him. You have to be ready to deal with the past double stage. As we promised, when we come back, we would take the microphone to the audience for their own questions and their own comments. Stay with us, don't go away. You're watching our Love by Design series. Don't go away. Welcome, welcome back. This is our Love by Design series. Now we promise you we'll be getting back to our audience and um, we have a first question, um, question from the audience. Okay. So my name is Samantha Jalo. So my name is Samantha Jalo. My question is for the Valentine couples. <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, we have this starting stage, this romance stage, the beginning stage of the relationship, where the man will actually accept everything about the woman, the floods, the everything. But as soon as he feels like he has gotten the woman, he starts changing and putting his own rules, which the woman should follow. What caused that? And this other question is very special to me because it's about me. My parents grew me up to be a woman for myself. I I don't believe in growing up or succeeding in life with a man. You can do it for yourself. You don't need man in life. Mm. So <laughs> I actually think if I get married, even if I will get married, it's going to be a problem because we believe in Africa, you have to be submissive as what my grandma has said. <laughs> yeah, you're my grandma. So I don't know how you can advise me in that Thank area. You <laughs> Interesting. Our next question is on the side of our audience and a gentleman. Tell us your name and tell us your question. Okay, Boka Ekonse says the name. My own question goes to um, the young couple, especially to Miss Mrs. Aminata. Now, um, you said you're having your own faith. That is, you're a Christian and your husband is a Muslim. But I believe as long as you have um, got married to each other, I believe like you're supposed to be in one particular faith. So please, I want to know how you're coping um, in your house. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's good. Okay, we've had the questions and 
Um, over to you. Um, for us, I think um, what we shared wouldn't allow us to go to that point because we already get the understanding between we and them. And uh, in most cases, these things happen because when we started the relationship, ego takes place. And you want what you what you saying to ego. be ego. what she's going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've walked past that stage already. We understand. Are that. you sure? You already yeah. passed that stage. Yes. It's no longer ego. No. And you would never ego. allow we've ego to step past, in. We've walked past that stage. And um because um I know when she's mad and she knows when I'm mad. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't and, find and, it and with difficult. And we stopped getting mad. Like yeah. she stopped getting mad. Now, yeah. now, so let's move to the second question. That's about your faith. We are doing okay with that because on Sundays I go to church. On Friday, on Fridays he go to uh, um, mocks, and there is a way we we are scheduling for the future when it comes to Ramadan and other things. I have to stop going to church to church to help him especially doing fasting and other things. So I think we're okay. We have that understanding between us. So Baka, how are you going to, how are you managing that? Uh, for me, um, I never intended changing our faith in the first place because um, we, we, if I was brought up a Christian, uh, from a Christian family, I'm going to be Christian, respect to uh, what I want to be. Mm -hmm. So I respect her faith. Mm -hmm. And then if she wants to be a Muslim, it's on her. Mm -hmm. to make that decision mm -hmm. even if I want to point her through the ways but mm -hmm. I accepted being a Christian and me being a Muslim so I accepted that and mm -hmm. uh, we're just doing fine when she wants to go to church <laughs> go All right. we don't have okay. to say that that's good so let's, let's come over now and let's come over now there's a question that was asked about um, that was by, by Samantha and Samantha was asking about she's been trained to be independent mm -hmm. now and in, in one way it's good because where in Africa where men would like to just take women and just dump them and push them so you have to go into these relationships knowing I can survive on my own if need be mm -hmm. because when you when people men think that you said I left this woman they are the meter, meter it becomes a problem but it's if you move it to the next level extreme you'd have women who are, who are too independent and becomes difficult to actually be submissive. Mm -hmm. And which she has said, she's already no program, her family, she knows there's that bit of submission that she has to do. Help her balancing that against being trained to live an independent life. Salmata. <laughs> I must say, call her, call her to tell. Sorry, name back. Salmata. <laughs> One thing I want you to know is that you are a daughter of your father and mother so you must get married but it is a plus to your husband because you are an independent woman that means you are a hard-working woman but that will not allow you not to be submissive to your husband you see there is one thing men want to be respected women want to be understanding you your husband you want your husband to understand you mm -hmm. and the men want respect that is you are my wife you should cook for me you should wash my clothes you should iron for me you should do this but then they will be failing to realize that you are a work work housewife you are not only at, uh, an owner well. as well, yeah, but yeah, you so are so working as well or doing business and you can get tired. So you will want your husband to understand you. Mm. You understand? I love that. That yes, my husband, I love you. Yes, it is my duty, but I am a working woman as well. I can get tired. <laughs> I love that. And that's what we that. make. You know, you don't have to be forceful about it. You have to put it to him. You have to make him understand you. That it is not that you don't want to do the work, but you also go to work as well as he does. Mm. And you know, coming back home, I love that. you'll be tired. So if you that. put it to him respectfully, surely he will understand you and you work together. But surely independence, no independence, you have to get married and produce <laughs> your own children as a family. You have to produce your own children as a family. Listen, <laughs> Sarah, I'm from this beautiful church. You want to put your hands together? 
thank you very much for all our sponsors, all of you who have been with us right through the series, goodies, um, chains of supermarkets, AfriCell, AYV, all of the people and all the audience that have been with us right through. And with couples, with veteran couples, Mr. and Mrs. Soa, Mr. and Mrs. Abubakar Kagu. Put your hands together again once more together for them. Don't forget, continue to watch this show. We're there online on Facebook, Joe Abbas Bangoa. Look for Joe Abbas Bangoa. Or YouTube, we go for Life by Design, SLTV. All of this information did it. Until we meet back on this show, I am Joe Abbas saying, continue to work on yourself, continue to work on your relationship. You only get the relationship that you work together for build for yourself. Until then, bye-bye. God bless you. Take it away.